Hello and welcome to Infinity. In a rather geeky look at the custom blur and some of the uh, functions around that, uh, we're going to move now into what I call custom. Custom compass masks, like in a compass that points north, and you'll see why in a moment. So let's start off. We'll do a filter blur and a custom blur. If you get something like this appearing when this turns up, by the way, this is a bug um, and Affinity know about it and they'll fix it. So they might have fixed it by the time you see this. Who knows? But all you need to do is change one cell and change it back again. Nothing happened there. So go down to the offset here, change the cell and change it back again. And there you go. We've got back to the one we should have. Sometimes you have to click on that as well. Anyway, let's hit Control J for the moment too. So we've got a separate one and we'll put in the defined amounts of the um, the, the first one we're going to look at, which is the Robinson custom mask. So we do this and we start off very simply. It's like a Sobel mask, which I describe in another video. So you've got minus one, minus two, minus one down one side, then one, two, one down the other side. And nothing much seems to happen here until you put the offset up to one. And here what we've got is the vertical um, uh, masking that you get from the, the vertical Sobel mask. Um, so nothing new if you've watched the Sobel video since, but it's you know still useful. But the idea of the compass mask is you start to rotate it. So this we call is called the north direction because you can imagine north shining light down here. Um, so if we imagine rotating these about the center, so in a anti-clockwise direction. So this one becomes one, that one becomes two, that one becomes one, and that one becomes naught. Then this one's naught, this one's one, that one's minus two, and that one's minus one. So we've just rotated those around. And this effect, this is now called northwest, so it's like southern light going from the north is coming from the northwest. And you can imagine this appearing here because there's shadow, if you like, along the bottom here. See, so here's the original, and there's the top, so there's shadow at the bottom there, a little bit there. And this one here, you can see the lights effectively coming down here and a bit of verticals as well. So we rotate it again. So now we're going to get one, two, one along the top. You're going to get noughts along the middle. Then minus one, minus two, minus one there. And this is west. It's like the light is sort of shining in this direction. So we've missed the horizontals and we've just got these you know, lines here. So we've lost the, sorry, the, the verticals there. So it's a horizontal image. And if we just look at what they all look like, this is what they, as we rotate them round. See, it goes minus two, minus one, minus two, minus one. That should be minus. There we go. Then rotate that around. You can see it's, it's rotating around the center as you go and you get the impression of a light almost shining from those directions. And this can form a, a way of doing an emboss um, impression. So what we'll do now is do the next one in these. There's two of them which are like this. And this one is the um, Kirsch compass mask. And the Kirsch compass mask is a similar idea, but quite different values. So this one goes to minus three, minus three, minus three, and so on round here. Oops. Minus three, then five, five, five there. And so we got another kind of effect here, and this is the the north position of like it's like shining down here, so you can in fact you can see the verticals there. And now we rotate it again, so to, we rotate that, so this one becomes a minus three, 
Where's that? Minus three, and this one becomes a five. They have rotated it around, so we've got sort of the northwest position. Rotate it again, and this one becomes a minus three, and this one becomes a five, and so on. So as you to rotate, it's like the light is shining from the different directions. This Kirsch mask is, is somewhat stronger than the Robinson mask. And let's have a look at the what that looks like. There we go. Here's the Kirsch one. So you can see minus threes around here and fives there. And then you just rotate it for each position and you get that sort of emboss effect, both with the light shining in different directions. OK, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.